In this lecture, we will discuss about maxim gilbert sequencing. maxim gilbert sequencing method was first developed by Maxim and Gilbert in 1976 to 1977. So, maxim gilbert sequencing is based on the sequencing of nucleotide by cleavage at the specific site. These specific sites include cleavage at guanine and adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine and cytosine. So, once the polynucleotide chain is cleaved at these four specific sites, then fragments are separated by using high resolution polyacrylamide gel erectophoresis and the erectophoresis is carried out for the sample of each tube. Side by side, now the smallest fragments are present at the bottom of the gel and we will read the gel from the bottom. Discuss sequencing step one by one. So, the first step involves labeling the 5 prime n of the single stranded DNA or double stranded DNA by P32 which is radioactivity labeled and the second step involves chemical treatment in four different reaction tubes and the third step is gel erectophoresis and then autoradiography and the fourth step involves analyzing the bending pattern. So here is double stranded DNA. The first step in maxim gerbert sequencing is end labeling. We need to label the 5 prime N. So to add a label first we remove this 5 prime phosphate group. So we will use here an enzyme that is alkaline phosphatase which cleaves the 5 prime phosphate group and creating a free 5 prime OH group where new P32 labeled phosphate will attach with the help of polynucleotide kinase. After N labeling, then double stranded DNA is converted into single stranded DNA by using dimethyl sulfoxide and heating the double stranded DNA at 90 degree C and then these single stranded DNA are separated through gel erectophoresis and we will elute the single stranded DNA. Next step, the radio labeled single stranded DNA are then subjected to chemical treatment for cleavage at this specific basis. They are then divided into four reactions and are given four different chemical treatment which they generate breaks at either one or two nucleotides. So this is our radioactively labeled single stranded DNA and when we provide chemical treatment with dimethyl sulfate at high temperature and using NaOH it will generate breaks at adenine and guanine in the DNA and it produces three different fragments and next chemical treatment with dimethyl sulfate and dilute HCl it result in breaks at G position and it produces one fragment and next chemical treatment with hydrazine and piperidine will result in break at C and T position and it will produce four different fragments and next if we treat single stranded DNA with hydrazine, piperidine and NaCl breaks will be created at C position and it will result in two different fragments. Next we will take all four different reaction mixtures and run them on the polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis which is then autoradiographed to read the DNA sequences and the DNA is negatively charged so it will travel on the gel from negative electrode to the positive electrode and the smallest fragment travel faster compared to larger fragment due to its size and we will read the fragment from bottom to top and the sequence that obtain is this sequence. Now let's see how we will read the sequence. As smallest fragment 
are present at the bottom of the gel. So we will read the gel from the bottom. So this is gonna be the first nucleotide. Len 3 and Len 4 represent cytosine and cytosine plus thymine. And Len 3 and 4 has two different bands. Hence the first nucleotide will be cytosine. Next, Len 4 contain a single band which represents C plus T. However, there is no band in Len 3. So the second nucleotide gonna be T. Next, LAN1 has a single band which represent A and G. However, LAN2 does not have any band so which represent G. So the third nucleotide here will be A. Next, LAN3 and 4 has two bands. LAN3 represents C and LAN4 represents C plus T. So the fourth nucleotide is gonna be C. So for the fifth nucleotide, LAN1 and 2 which represent A plus G and G has two bands. So the fifth nucleotide is gonna be G. Next, for the sixth nucleotide, there is a single band in LAN4 which represents C plus T. However, there is no band in LAN3 which represents C. So sixth nucleotide will be T. Here C, T, A, C, G, T, A. Is the original sequence so for the correct reading remember we start it from positive end of the gel to the negative end of the gel and in this manner we will obtain a sequence from 5 prime to 3 prime direction so it's all about Maxim Gilbert DNA sequencing method